Hi there. Okay, so welcome to the hemispheres, which apparently I completely forgot about. Um, now, it's part, oh, it's part two of key area two, and we're still on unit three. So that is neurobiology and immunology. So we're still working on unit three. I have color coded all the units. So the idea is a green unit is the final unit in this one. And today we're looking at hemispheres. So when we are talking about the cerebral cortex, um, we are basically talking about the fact it's divided into two halves. So what, although the title of this says size of the cortex, this is basically the last thing we're ever going to refer to mm. as sides. So from now on, you need to know the two important things about the halves is that they are called hemispheres. So you have the left cortex, which is the left cerebral hemisphere. So basically the left part of it. Um, and you've got, unsurprisingly, the right hemisphere, which is the right part of your brain. Now, the important thing to know about that is that your left hemisphere is responsible for everything on the right side of your body. So if you wave your right hand or you go to kick a ball with your right foot, that is the left hemisphere that's actually responsible for controlling that. And conversely, if you decide to wave your left hand, well, that's the right hemisphere that's actually controlling that. So it is the opposite side of your brain, so the opposite hemisphere that is controlling the opposite side of your body. Important thing to stress, never ever say left side of the brain, right side of the brain, or left side of the cortex, right side of the cortex. They want hemisphere. So you either can say left cortex or left cerebral hemisphere or right cortex, right cerebral hemisphere, but never say left side, right side. Don't say it. Now, this is hard, okay? The weird thing is, so you think right side of brain controls left side of body. So there's my left hand here, that's the right side of my brain that's doing that. That also applies to your eyes, okay? So my left eye, which is this one here, is being controlled by the right side of my brain on this side here. My right eye, this one here, is being controlled by the left side of my brain, okay? So even information from the eye swaps over for brain sides, along with arms, hands, sensing stuff in the body, all of that kind of stuff. Okay, so in this example, the left hemisphere is collecting information from the right eye, so the left brain, effectively, is going to see the color red because the right eye is collecting mostly red, giving it to the left of the brain. So the left of the brain is seeing mostly red. The left eye is looking at the blue image. The left eye passes information to the right cerebral hemisphere. I'm trying not to say side of brain. OK, so to the right cerebral hemisphere. And then that right cerebral hemisphere effectively processes mostly blue. Now, this is going to be important for the next video on split brain. OK, where we're going to look at what happens when the two hemispheres of the brain are not communicating properly. But this is a key idea that you need to know is that essentially any functions on the left are controlled by the right cerebral hemisphere. Any functions at all, including sight on the right, are controlled by the left cerebral hemisphere. Okay, so obviously we have these two different hemispheres in our brain. Now, it is pretty important that these can communicate with each other, because if your right eye is processing something, you want your right side of the brain to know what that is. So although your right eye is seeing it and your left hemisphere is dealing with it, your right side still knows what's happening. And that is because of this structure uh, here called the corpus callosum. And it's basically just a band of fibres. Kind of in this case, it looks like two bits of broccoli attached together through the middle. But that is a brain, if you kind of spread it out and look in the middle. The bit in the middle that joins them together is called the corpus callosum. And that is what actually connects both sides. And that's what has allowed the information to go from side to side. So as your right side of the brain still knows what's happening on the right side of your body. And again, like we just said in the next video, when we talk about the split brain, we're going to look at what happens when this isn't there and your brain can't communicate with each other and you just have basically two brains. Please don't get this confused with the corpus luteum. Again, I'm sorry. I don't know why so many of the words have to be the same. OK, so parts of the cortex, your corpus callosum allows communication between the left and the right hemispheres of the cerebral cortex. Okay, your left hemisphere controls the right side of your body. It also has a speech area, which we will touch on more of that fact in the next video. Mm -hmm. The right hemisphere is going to control the left side of the body. OK, so that's hopefully nice and simple. Hopefully you've got the latest broad idea of it. What the next video is about is about split brain. So essentially it's what happens if you cut the corpus callosum, what happens to the person that is in there and obviously not cutting it for fun, cutting it for medical reasons. So basically have the hang of this video before you do the next one yeah. or the next one's going to be blooming awful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I always like to start, start, start thinking that this is going to be blooming awful. That's brilliant. Okay, see you then.